we're given the following h j omega we're asked what is the zero of this function we are first finding z1 when we're looking at zeros i'm going to underline this in red the zero is this top part and before we actually solve for this let's look at what our b is our b is what are the two poles of this function and the two poles here are our p1 and our p2 we have a lower frequency and we have a higher frequency well if our top part are the zeros that means our bottom part right here are the poles so we have zeros in the numerator and poles in the denominator always and so for our poles and for our zeros we're going to be looking at this part right here so when we look at the zeros part for part a we see we have nothing right here so that means our z1 is zero now for our p1 we're going to be dealing with this and the reason why we're dealing with this is this because this 10 is less than this 100 so let's write this all out both of our poles are going to be 10 and 100 because we're grabbing this value and this value the lower of the two is 10 so we're going to set p1 equal to 10 and then our p2 is 100. next we're asked what is the gain k after putting this function in standard form well if we were to put this in standard form we would need to convert our j omegas to be an s so all of these uh, j omegas are going to be equal to an s and you can think of s for standard form so in here we are going to rewrite this we are going to have a h we're going to have s and this is equal to 100 and then we're going to have our s in here and this is all divided by s plus 10 and then we're going to have s plus 100. we're not going to look at the s's we're just going to have 100 and then this is just going to become 100 divided by our 10 and then the 100 and i believe i made a mistake ah uh, yes i did this should be not a 100 but a 110 instead so this is going to be our new equation and this will help us find our k so rewriting like this without the s's will help us find the k and so if we were to plug this into a calculator we would get that our k is equal to 0 0.11 and so that is how you'd go about writing out this problem